वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू माई चैनल बायोलॉजी विद डॉक्टर ईशा रानी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डी एन ए एंड क्रोमोजोम्स सो वॉट इज क्रोमोजोम क्रोमोजोम्स वर फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब बाई स्ट्रास बर्जर इन एटीन फिफ्टीन एंड द टर्म क्रोमोजोम वॉज फर्स्ट यूज बाय वॉल्डियर इन एटीन एटी एट द नेम क्रोमोजोम वॉज डिराइव फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड विच मीन्स क्रोमा it means colored and so means bodies because they were the colored bodies due to use of dye perkins aniline they become blue in color so th the term chromosome was derived from that dye so as you know that in the nucleus of each cell the dna molecules are packed into a thread like structure called chromosomes here is the nucleus and you can see the chromosomes and chromosomes are composed of dna so they are appear as rod shaped dark stained bodies during mitosis stage and the stage is metaphase in which you can clearly see the chromosomes so here is the structure of chromosomes a typical chromosome contain two arms known as chromatids here is a chromosome and here is a centromere these are the arms or duplicate chromosomes known as chromatids these chromatids are attached together by means of centromere so what is centromere centromere is called primary constriction it is the point where two sister chromatids are attached it is the constricted region from where chromosome arms or chromatids originate there is also a disc shaped protein here is a disc shaped protein known as kinta core which allow the spindle fiber to attach during the division of cell it means that when spindle fibers are formed they will attach by means of these proteinaceous bodies known as kinta core so the chromosome structure of the chromosome that chromosomes are composed of chromomeres here you can see these are the serially arranged bead like granules aligned along the chromatinometer these are the dense bodies of chromatin with a fixed interval known as chromonema and the chromatinometer these are the thread like coiled structures observed in the chromosomes known as chromonema or you can say that, that chromatinometer chromatinometer is associated with three main functions because they control the size of the chromosomes and resulting the duplication of the chromosomes and also having the genes bearing portion so these are the chromomeres and they are with a specific interval and here is chromonema they are coil structures and these bears the genes and now we have an other term which is you know used as telomeres telomeres are actually the ends of the chromosomes these are the ends of the chromosome because they contain repeated sequence of non coding dna and they protect chromosomes from any type of damage so according to the position of centromere we have different types of chromosomes the first one is the telocentric it means these are the rod shaped chromosomes and centromere will be present on the terminal position here is the terminal position and you will see that the chromosome has just one arm okay and the second one is acrocentric acrocentric means they are also rod shaped but occupying a sub terminal position one arm is long here is a long arm and the second one arm will be very short rod like arm and the third shape which is sub metacentric in which the centromere will be slightly away from the central or middle point 
and the they will also give unequal arm just like here these are the short arms and these are long arms and it will give the shape of l or your alphabet j and the last one which is metacentric meta it means middle in which the centromere is present exactly in the middle or center of the chromosomes and it will give the shape of v shape and they will be equal arms both arms will be equal in metacentric so now what are the types of the chromosome chromosomes are homologous chromosomes these chromosomes are in pair having the same length and centromere position and staining pattern for genes and same corresponding loci or you can say the position of the chromosomes one homologous chromosome is inherited from mother of the organism and the other one is inherited from the father of that organism so in human beings we have two types of chromosomes the first one is autosome and the second one is sex chromosome what is the difference between autosomes and the sex chromosome the autosomes and sex chromosomes are, are having genes but the autosomes are responsible for somatic characteristics while the sex chromosomes contain the genes which are responsible to determine the particular sex or sex related characteristics of an organism so in human beings we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in which 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair is of sex chromosome if there is female then there will be xx chromosome and if the male then it will be x and y chromosome so what is the difference between autosome and sex chromosome autosomes in human beings we have 22 pairs of homologous chromosomes now you will understand the homologous chromosomes how they look like and in male as you know that male is heterogametic and it contain x and y chromosomes they are non homologous and female having x and x chromosomes here is a karyotype of normal human beings you can see these are the homologous chromosome they are exactly look alike but the difference is that on the 23rd pair of chromosome which is sex chromosome you can see that female having both x sex chromosome and they are also homologous because they have the similar structure similar size while male having different size of chromosome one is x and other one is y so here is a difference between autosomes and sex chromosomes you can also do the karyotype karyotype is just like analysis to find out the abnormalities or the characteristics of any individual and in the chromosomes so karyotype can reveal many things about unborn child karyotype can be uh, done by using blood cells fetus skin cell or amniotic fluid or you can say that you can also use the bone marrow cells so what are the reasons that we should go for the karyotype analysis the reason is that it will uh, indicate the gender of the uh, fetus and also it will help to screen out the chromosomal abnormalities just like down syndrome here i have a picture in which you can see that there are the chromosomes which are normal but on 21 number of chromosome you can see an additional chromosome is there because it is trisomic condition or normally we know, uh, call them as down syndrome so when there is an any extra chromosome is present or any extra copy of chromosome is present or if their chromosome is missing then you can go for the karyotype analysis how this karyotype analysis will be performed here is a methodology in which you can see that here is a blood sample firstly you will take the blood sample of that uh, fetus or that individual and then this blood sample will be added for the growth medium it will uh, in laboratory conditions and then you will incubate that 
ब्लड सैंपल फॉर 37 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फॉर वन डे देन यू विल एड सम केमिकल्स लाइक कॉल्चिसन एंड अदर केमिकल्स टू स्टॉप दैट there should not be any uh, stage going on or and that stage will be the metaphase one after that you will centrifuge that sample and then supernatants will be collected after that supernatants will be uh, used to make the slide and stain after that you will make the slide and you will observe that slide under the high power microscope to find out the karyotype here is the karyotype you will see the number of the chromosome and you will count them uh, carefully if there is any abnormality you will see in this karyotype that whether this karyotype having 46 number of chromosome or having any abnormality like 45 number of chromosome or 47 number of chromosome you can also find out the gender of that individual whether uh, the, the boy is there or whether the girl or baby uh, daughter is there so here is the chemical composition of chromosome chromosome mainly contain dna which is 30 to 40 percent and it will be variable from species to species then protein 65% 50 to 65% and rna 1 to 10% now dna as you know that dna contain billions of the nucleotide and these nucleotides are made up of phosphoric acid deoxyribose sugar and nitrogenous bases the nitrogenous bases further divide into two types purine and pyrimidine then purine and pyrimidine having Two two types: adenine and guanine. These are the purine bases, and pyrimidine having cytosine and thiamine bases. These bases are present in the DNA. While RNA, we have another base which is uracil is present instead of thiamine. In pyrimidine, we have uracil in RNA. Rest of the uh, nitrogen bases will be same, but the difference is that. Here is deoxyribose sugar. In RNA, we have ribose sugar. Here is the structure, ultra structure of chromosomes. This structure you will see so carefully that here is the nucleus, and in nucleus here is the chromosomes. Then from chromosome you will take the segment of that chromosome, and that segment having histone protein. Eight histone protein and that uh, DNA structure or that strand will tightly coiled or packed, and that assembly of eight histone protein will make nucleosome. And then these nucleosome again we have another structure which is here is a DNA and containing nucleus. So here is a DNA structure and there is a nucleotide. There are billions of the nucleotides are present. in dna so this is a ultra structure now we will describe this structure as a chromosome is a thread like a structure located in the chromosome of cells of plant cells animal cells or human cells and each chromosome is made up of deoxyribonucleic acid and histone protein then it is unique structure that keep two dna strand quietly wrapped around the histone proteins so dna is wrapped multiple time around histone protein which is the octamer and it is made up of eight histone molecules four above and four below and this structure is known as nucleosome nucleosome that is densely packed form of dna or chromatin which coil up to make chromatin loop so these loops further wrap around each other and thus chromatin becomes highly folded to make a full chromosome here is another you can see organization of chromosome again these are the dna double helical structure and this dna will tightly coiled around the histone protein as i have told you that 
eight protein above eight histone proteins above and eight below and this has eight eight structure then this tightly coiled structure form nucleosome and this nucleosome will make a super coil this super coil will be fitted in a chromosome if you lay out the uh, DNA of any one chromosome it will be 2 meter long or 7 feet long or you can say that billions of the nucleotides will be there in this single chromosome it is the ultra structure or organization of chromosome chromosome as carrier of genes so a gene is a segment of DNA which will code the particular polypeptide or proteins. It means each DNA gene will uh, encode the particular information or particular protein. So the genes are located on chromosome. Here you can see there is a DNA. There is, it is a segment of DNA in which genes are located. and they determine the all type of heredity traits in human beings and in all other living organisms. In human beings, there are 20 to 23,000 genes are there in which only 1 to 1.5 of the uh, percent of the human genome contain protein coding sequence of DNA, which are the genes. Scientists are still studying the purpose of the rest of 99% of the DNA. In this diagram, you can see that gene is the sequence of DNA that will encode the particular information to make or synthesize particular protein. Therefore, genes are made up of DNA. Thank you so much dear students for more videos like, share and subscribe my channel.